I know a lot of you learning to code blockchain tech are also interested in investing and trading. So I wanted to do a quick video using Python to programmatically pull crypto price data from CoinGecko and then generate a chart comparing Bitcoin to Ether over time. Here we have Bitcoin and Ether over the last two years, and I've always found it interesting how correlated most coins are. Anyway, I've already written the code, so we'll just quickly walk through it. Here I'm using Jupyter Notebooks, which is a Python IDE designed for data analysis. And the, and the first thing we do is import PyCoinGecko, a package that makes interacting with the CoinGecko API very simple. If you have any questions about Jupyter or Python, drop them in the comments. The next thing we do is initialize the client. So this is just an instance of the CoinGecko API. And then we call ping, which checks that the CoinGecko API is working. It says v3 to the moon. So I think we can assume that it's working. Next, we write a couple helper functions. We write two helper functions for converting dates between human readable dates and Unix timestamps. The latter is a number in seconds that counts up starting in the 1970s. And the CoinGecko API requires a Unix timestamp to specify the time period when you want data for. But it's obviously not human readable. So we want to be able to convert from one to the other and back. Here we pick our start and end dates that we want data for. We're using the function we wrote above, Unix time, and this converts a human readable time into a Unix time, which looks like this. So we pass in the year, the month, the day, the hour, the second, and this is what it spits out. And we do the same thing for the end time. So here we're getting data for the date range, the beginning of 2020 to halfway through 2022. Here we use the client and we call this function get coin market chart range by ID. We pass in the coin we want data for. So I've called this twice and in the first one I've passed in Bitcoin and in the second I've passed in Ethereum. Then we specify the currency that we want Bitcoin and Ethereum denominated in. So I picked USD and then we pass in our start time and our end time. And I've assigned the results to BTC results and ETH results. This is what comes back. So there's three keys in this object. There's prices, there's market caps, and there's total volume. I've printed the keys on this object with BTC result dot keys. And inside each of these key value pairs, we have the timestamp, the Unix timestamp, I think this is actually in milliseconds, so we'll need to divide by a thousand to get Unix time, and then the price at that time. And then we'll have the same data lower down for market cap, if we can find it here, and total volumes, which is the volume of the token that's being traded. Next, I wanted to inspect the data a little bit further. I wanted to check the length of the array that contains prices for both BTC and ETH by calling the length function in Python just to check that they're the same length. So both are 882 items long, so that's good. And then I wanted to convert a few of the Unix times into human readable times. And to do that, I needed to first divide by 1000 because Unix time is in seconds, but the data coming back from CoinGecko is in milliseconds. I wrote this myself to give you an example of the shape we need to put data into before passing it to our plotting library. So we need to create a dictionary, which is like a JavaScript object with two keys, time and price, and then an array for each one of those. So if this was a token, then at time one, the price would be 1,000. At time two, it would be 999. At time three, it would be 1,001. Now we're going to take our BTC and ETH data and actually build that kind of object. So here I initialize an empty BTC dictionary and an empty ETH dictionary. If you find the video you're watching helpful, do me a huge favor. Scroll down to the thumbs up, give it a click, and then hit subscribe. 
It helps keep me motivated to keep making awesome and in-depth blockchain tutorials to help you out. Now back to writing code. And then we use a Python list comprehension, which is like a single line loop, which allows us to return the result in an array. So here I'm collecting all the time elements from the BTC array. And then here I'm collecting all of the price elements from the BTC array. And I'm doing the same thing with ETH here. Next, we plot our data. I'm importing both Seaborn, which is the library we'll be using for charting, as well as matplotlib, which is like the OG Python charting library, just to give us a little bit of extra functionality. Here I set the figure size of the chart because by default it's a little bit small. I'm just increasing the size here. I'm setting the style and then I'm calling SNS, which is what we've imported Seaborn as, and I'm passing in the name of the key for the x-axis, the name of the key for the y-axis, and then the BTC data. Then from matplotlib, which I've called PLT, I'm calling twin x, which allows us to have two different scales on the x-axis. Because if we compared Bitcoin and Ethereum on the same scale, well, Ethereum would look like a flat line along the bottom compared to the price of BTC. So I call sns.lineplot again, except this time, after specifying the keys for the x and y axes, I pass in the ETH data. And then I also pass in the instance of twin X and change the color to red. And when I plot that, I get this. And that's it, this is very basic. We could do a lot more, but I think that's a good intro to pulling data from CoinGecko and plotting it. And again, I'd love to do more videos on analyzing crypto data with Python and machine learning. So let me know if you're interested and I'll see you next time.